How do we transform a complex number from its rectangular to polar and exponential forms? Hi, I'm Shem, and for this video, I'm going to give three examples on the transformation of complex numbers. We already know the three forms of our complex number, namely rectangular, polar, and exponential forms. But how do we transform a rectangular form complex number into its corresponding polar and exponential forms? Let's have this example, 2 plus 2 i. By correspondence, we can say that a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 2 as well. Let's try to plot this in the Argand diagram. We have here your real axis and your imaginary axis. Your real part is equal to 2 and your imaginary part is equal to 2i. So our complex number is here, 2 plus 2i. A is equal to 2 and B is equal to 2 as well. So to transform a rectangular form complex number it's into its corresponding polar form, we will use a triangle. We know that R is the distance from the origin of the argon diagram to the complex number. This is also called R modulus. So this is R. We can form a triangle, a right triangle. Let's try to isolate that. This would be R. This would be B, the real or the imaginary rather part of our complex number. And this is A, the real part of our complex number. We will be also needing the value of theta and that theta should always be taken from the positive axis of our real axis, the positive real axis. So this is our theta. We have our theta here. To solve for the value of r or the modulus, we will be using the Pythagorean Theorem that would be equal to a squared plus b squared that is equal to the square root of 2 squared plus 2 squared equal to 2 square root of 2. We now have the value of r modulus. Next thing we need to know is the value of our argument, theta. Take note that theta in the polar form is inside the trigonometric function cosine and sine. Thus, this theta should be in degrees. To find theta in degrees, we will be using this triangle. You can either use trigonometric function sine of theta equal to opposite is b over hypotenuse r cosine of theta adjacent is a over hypotenuse r. Or we can use tangent of theta that is equal to opposite over adjacent. Opposite is b and adjacent is a. Rb is equal to 2 and A is also equal to 2. We take theta that would be equal to the arc tangent of 2 over 2 or 1 and that is equal to 45 degrees. We now have your modulus and our argument.
we can write our complex number into its corresponding polar form. Your r is 2 square root of 2 cosine of theta is 45 degrees plus i times sine of 45 degrees. The polar form of our complex number 2 plus 2 i. But how do we transform it into its exponential form? If you will observe, we are, we are using r and theta also. So, we will just copy it. r is 2 square root of 2 times e raised to i times theta. But this time, theta is outside of a trigonometric function. So, theta for exponential form should be in radian form. To do that, let's transform our angle 45 degrees into its corresponding radian system. Recalling your Cartesian plane, we have here 1 revolution is equal to 360 degrees. And that would be equal to 2 pi of a radian. We will use this as our conversion factor to convert 45 degrees into its corresponding radian system. This would be multiplied by 2 pi radian and divide that by 360 degrees. 360 degrees is in the denominator for us to cancel out the degree sign. Or unit this would be equal now to pi over 4 of a radian copy that in the exponential form this is equal to pi over 4 or we can write this as 2 square root of 2 e raised to pi over 4 i we now have your exponential form of our complex number 2 plus 2 i Let's have another example of transformations from its rectangular to polar and exponential form. We have this 2i. The correspondence, we know that a is equal to 0 and b is equal to positive 2. So if you draw that in the argon diagram, the real part is 0, the imaginary part is positive 2. We have here your complex number 2i. We have defined R to be equal to the distance from the origin to the complex number. We will observe this is just equal to 2. So we have R to be equal to 2. Our problem now is theta. Your theta is always taken from the positive real axis. So this would be R angle theta and that is 90 degrees theta is 90 degrees all that is equal to pi over 2 of a radian in its polar form that would be cosine of 90 plus i sine of 90 degrees in its exponential form we have here r equal to 2 times e raised to i times theta. That would be pi over 2 times i. For example, 3 minus 2i. We have a is equal to 3 and b is equal to negative 2. In the argon diagram, your positive real axis or your A is 3 and your B is negative 2. We have our complex number plotted. To transform this into polar form, we need the distance or the modulus, distance from the origin to the complex number. This is our modulus. To find that, we can use the triangle. This is 3 and this is 2. 
r is equal to the square root of 3 squared plus 2 squared. Using your calculator, that would be square root of 3 squared plus 2 squared, square root of 13. So r is square root of 13. The angle, take note, should be taken from the positive real axis. So this is our angle theta. To find that, let's look for this angle first. This is also 3 and or 2 rather. And this is 3. Let's isolate this triangle. 2 and 3. We're looking for this angle. Let's say this is angle alpha. Alpha is equal to R tangent, opposite is 2, adjacent is 3. This is equal to 33.69006753 degrees or 33 degrees 41 minutes 24.24 24 seconds we know the value of r or alpha we can solve for the value of theta theta is equal to 360 degrees minus alpha and this is Three hundred twenty six degrees eighteen minutes thirty five point seventy six seconds. Let's try to write the polar form here. Square root of thirteen cosine of three twenty six degrees eighteen minutes thirty five point seventy six seconds plus I sine of 326 degrees 18 minutes and 35.76 seconds this is our polar form of r 3 minus 2 i what about the exponential form of r complex number we have the val same value for r square root of 13 but we will have our angle theta into its corresponding radian form this is 360 degrees divided by 2 pi radian This would be equal to 1.81 pi of a radian. So the exponential form is equal to square root of 13 e raised to, let's say 1.81 of a pi times i, the exponential form of 3 minus 2. Hi. Here are some problems for you to work on. Use the comment section if you want to know if you got it right.